everyone, it's Andrea, and today I have my end of the year TBR pile for you. Now I did not come up with that idea on my own. I got it from Kate from Girl Reading. I saw her video about what she wants to read by the end of the year, and I thought I would make a video about that as well. So I will leave a link to her video in the description and you can check out what she wants to read by the end of the year as well. Right now I am reading Forever by Judy Bloom. My book club is reading YA classics right now. So I reread Tuck Everlasting and then read Speak. And now I'm reading Forever. Speak and Forever were both new books for me. I had never read them before. I really enjoyed Speak and I just started Forever, but I should have it finished by the time this video actually goes up. So I'm not going to start with that one. I'm just going to start from there for my TBR list. So the first book on my list of books that I really want to read by the end of the year is The Prey by Andrew Fukuda. It is the sequel to The Hunt, which I made a video about recently, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description. But it's just a really, really good series. I really loved The Hunt. It's a vampire story where this guy named Gene is the only human left in a world full of vampires, so he has to disguise himself and pretend to be a vampire. And it's just, it was a really, really, really good book. So I'm very excited about this. I got it from my library and I really wanted to get the third book as well, The Trap, but it was not available. So I just got Prey and I'm hoping to read this um, within the next few days. The next book that I really want to read before the end of the year is Feed by Mira Grant. I used to really hate zombies, like so much so I couldn't even really think about zombies. I was just so freaked out by them, just grossed out, couldn't handle zombies at all. And now I love zombies. I started watching The Walking Dead at the beginning of the year and now I'm like crazy zombie fanatic. So I've heard that this series is really, really good and I've just been wanting to read it for a while. So I bought the first three books to the series recently. I think it was in the summer or something. And apparently now there's a fourth book out in the series and there's also some novellas in between the books, but I definitely wanna read Feed and I could possibly read the other two as well before the end of the year. It's really funny because I'm about to go on a trip with my family and Feed is the book that I've decided that I really wanna take with me on the trip, but it's a really big book. I mean, it's, it's like, I don't know how many pages it is. It's like 575 pages. So it's pretty long, it's pretty big. I'm normally so intimidated by big books like this because I'm such a slow reader. And for some reason, when I go on trips, I take really dense books with me, like high fantasy or really big books. I don't know why I do because I end up taking way longer to read them than I would if I was just reading them at home. But for some reason, I don't know, I just really like to take these kind of books with me. And this is the book that I really wanna take with me on our trip. And so it's the book that I see myself reading on the plane, even though I have kids and I don't know if I'll be able to read that much on the plane, but like, this is the book I really wanna read for that. And I don't know why, because it probably will take me forever to finish it, but that's what I've decided. This is the one I wanna read then, so we'll see. Another book that I really wanna read by the end of the year is Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. It is the sequel slash companion novel to Illuminae, which was really, really super good. And I know a lot of people have really loved Gemina just as much, if not more than Illuminae. So I know that I will love this one as well. This book is heavy, I'm gonna put it down. If you're not familiar with Illuminae, it's about, there are these two mining companies. I think they're mining companies. Anyway, I think two mining companies that are like rivals and one of the companies has made this illegal mining operation on this planet in the middle of nowhere and the other company finds out about it and then they attack. All these people are dying and then three ships actually escape from the mining colony and then the people who attack them actually start chasing those three spaceships. So the story is about a couple who lived on the mining colony and they actually just broke up and they have escaped on those ships. So there's a girl named Katie, her ex-boyfriend Ezra, and her mom, and they're all three on different ships escaping these attackers. 
So it's really cool. There's all this crazy stuff that happens and it's just a really, really, really good book. And so I know that Gemini is supposed to be just as good. Another book that I really want to read by the end of the year is This Is Not a Test by Courtney Summers. It's another zombie book. I'm just trying to eat up as many zombie books as I can. I'm just, I'm really obsessed, you guys. Anyway, this zombie book is about some teenagers who are taking cover inside a high school. And so apparently there are zombies outside. And I've heard that this is a really, really great zombie book as well. So I'm looking forward to this one. And we'll just keep going with the zombie books. Another book that I'd like to read by the end of the year is Outpost by Anna Aguirre. It is the sequel to Enclave, which I just finished reading. It's set in New York in the future and the world has changed. It's not the way we know it. There are people living underground in these enclaves because they cannot survive above ground. And there are also these creatures that they call freaks, which basically just try and kill the humans. And those are kind of zombie-ish. They're not your typical zombies. They're kind of a different take on zombies. But I really enjoyed the first book, so I've got the second one that I'd like to read. I'd like to read the third one as well, but I don't own it, so uh, I might try and get it by the end of the year. I don't know. We'll just see. This TBR pile is turning out to be kind of long, and I am such a slow reader, I really doubt I'm going to get through all of these books by the end of the year. I'm still going to tell you about the rest of them anyway. So I've also really gotten into kind of like mystery thriller kind of books recently, and I've got two those kind of books on my list. So another book that I'd really like to read before the end of the year is What She Knew by Gilly McMillan or Jilly McMillan. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. This is an adult book and it's about a woman whose son disappears, which might be really hard for me to read because I have a seven-year-old son and I think her son is around the same age. And so it's kind of in that same theme of like Gone Girl, um, the girl on the train, that kind of stuff. And I really love those kinds of books. So I'm really looking forward to this one as well. And then another mystery thriller that I'd like to read is With Malice by Eileen Cook. And it is, is a story about a girl who goes on a school trip to Italy and she wakes up and she doesn't even remember going to Italy. Like she doesn't know what's going on. She's in the hospital and it's a whole big mystery and it's supposed to be really, really good. It's a YA mystery. And so I'm looking forward to it because I haven't read a lot of YA thrillers and I'm really hoping that this one will be really good. And then the last two books on the list are kind of classics. So I just have been wanting to read them for a long time and I don't know if I'll get to read them by the end of the year, but I would like to. So the first one is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I just know that this is supposed to be a really great dystopian book and I've read a few of Margaret Atwood's other books so I know that I will probably like the writing and I know that this is kind of a timely book right now because there's a lot of crazy stuff going on especially in the United States and I think that this will be a good book to read sometime soon. And then the very last book on my end of the year TBR pile is a book that I am pretty sure I'm like 90% sure that I read when I was younger. I know I watched the movies and the TV show that followed it up, but anyway, I bought the whole series and so I'm wanting to read Anne of Green Gables by Ella Montgomery. I loved the movies when I was a kid. I loved the show Avonlea when I was a kid too. I mean, just loved those shows and the, the movies. I'm hoping that they will do a good job with the new adaptation and I just really want to read this book again. I just really loved those those movies and things as a kid. And I'm pretty, pretty sure that I read it as a kid. But anyway, I want to read it again. And I want to read the whole series this time. So that is my end of the year TBR pile. I'm probably not going to get to even half of those books. But those are the books that I would love to read by the end of the year. If you read any of these books, let me know if you loved them or not. Don't leave me any spoilers. But... Just let me know in the comments if you like them and I'll talk to you later. Bye.